is welcome back to my channel e study today we will learn binary search tree bst and its operation insertion and deletion so let's begin with binary search tree insertion before starting this topic if you know the binary search tree properties you are fine However, if you don't know the binary search tree property and its construction, please watch my previous video that is made on this topic. So let's start with the insertion. So to add an element x to the tree so that the binary search tree property continues to hold. That means if we add a node x in the tree, so the tree must maintain the binary search tree property. For example, here add an item 11 in the given tree. So to add an item 11 in the given tree, suppose we add item 11 here. So does it maintain the binary search tree property? No, because we know that in binary search tree, every node has the laser value in its left subtree and the larger value in its right subtree. However, for the node 3, 11 is larger, which is situated in its left side or left subtree. So it's not the correct insertion. So what can we do? We can compare from the root that the item is 11 which is larger than this root value 4 so we should go in the right side and we compare with the 6 value and the 11 is larger than the 6 so we will move further in the right side and compare with 7 the 11 is larger than 7 so we should add the 11 in the right side again another item 4 we should add 4 in the given tree so compare with the root value the 4 is equal with the root value so in binary search tree property in the second property it is mentioned that the node value will be equal or greater than in the right subtree so we should move in the right here we get 6 in compare with 6 the 4 is lesser than 6 so we should move in the left side and compare with 5 the 4 is less than the 5 so we should insert here again we should insert another item 8 so compare with 4 the 8 is larger we should move right and compare with 6 the 8 is larger so we should move here and compare with 7 the 8 is larger so we should move in the right and compare with the right child 11 the 8 is smaller so we should insert at 8 as a left child I think all of you understand the binary search to insertion now the question is does the order of inserting element into a binary search tree matter the answer is yes, because the certain orders might produce very unbalanced tree. For example, let's construct the VS tree for this, this and this node. If you look at these nodes, the nodes values are same for these three orders. However, if we construct the binary search tree, some nodes order produce very unbalanced tree. Let's see here. 4 so 2 it should be in the left child 6 it should be in the right child 1 is less than 4 2 is so here 3 greater than 2 here 5 greater than 4 however less than 6 so we should put here and 7 greater than 6 so we should put here so it's balanced tree because it fulfills every levels however in second one first two so one is the less than two so we should put here four is greater than two we should put here three is greater than two move right is less than four 
move left and insert here 7 greater than 2 move right greater than 4 so insert here 6 greater than 2 move here greater than 4 move here however less than 7 so insert here then 5 greater than 2 move here greater than 4 move here that is 7 so less than 7 move to the left child that is 6 less than 6 so we should put here the 5 and in third condition 1 2 is greater than 1 so in right 3 is greater than 1 so in right 4 is greater than 1 so in right 5 is greater than 1 so in right 6 and 7 so the third one is called the right sqo tree and that is that is totally unbalanced tree and in the second tree is nearly unbalanced tree however the first one is balanced tree so the problem is the order of inserting element matter because certain orders might produce produce very unbalanced tree which increases the total search time for example if we search not six here so how many times we need to compare just one and two then we get the six however if you want to search here in this tree so we need to compare here six is greater than two we move to right compared to this node uh, is it six no so six is greater than four compared to right seven six is less than seven compared to left and find out the six so we need to compare one two three and four times however here we need to search only for two times in the third case we need to compare one two three four five and six six times so in this little example it is clear that a balanced tree reduces the searches time however an unbalanced tree increases the search time that's why it is not desirable to produce the unbalanced tree now let's move on bst deletion the deletion is a bit tricky while delete the bst property must be patched out so if we want to delete an item the binary search tree property must be preserved and we have to consider three different cases so in the first case deleting a leaf so just delete it for example see here is leaf so we can delete it so uh, the other tree holds the binary search property if we delete this leaf doesn't matter the other tree nodes maintain the binary search property in the second case deleting a node with only one child so if we delete a node with only one child what we need to do just splice out that means connect the the children with its parents so if we want to delete f the node f has only one child so what we need to do connect its node with its parents so and delete this node so the binary search tree property continues to hold for example even here if we want to delete this 30 what we need to do just connect its children 40 to its parents so we can do it no problem however in third conditions or in third case deleting a node with two children so in that case what we need to do for example here if we want to delete the node we need to find out the maximum value in the left subtree that is the rightmost value of the left subtree so here in this case in the left subtree there is only one item which is c so what we need to do just swap with this item so we need to put c here and b here and then delete the b so uh, this tree maintain the binary search tree property for example if we need to delete 80 here what we need to do we need to 
find out the rightmost children of the left subtree. So here is the left subtree and the rightmost children is 70. So we need to swap this 70 with 80. So the 70 will be here and 80 will be here and we can delete the 80. Then the total tree maintains the binary search tree property and if still it does not maintain the binary search tree property we need to move back to case 1 or case 2 to give its binary search tree property how can we maintain the binary search tree property just swapping the elements with its uh, parent to its children so I think all of you understand the binary search tree relation and insertion. Now pause the video and try yourself this example. Add a note shown in the following graph and delete note Alice in this graph. And leave your answer in the comment box just like if a connection from A to B. So just write A to be in the comments box so in this pattern you can write uh, this tree structure easily i think all of you understand the binary search tree insertion and deletion still have you any question please leave your question in the comments box i will reply right away thank you very much for watching this video please like comment and subscribe my channel